Uh oh, got a hole. Do you know what I need to do? Get out one of my spare gloves and put this on. They don't sting through the nitrile because they don't sense that your flesh is there. They sense your flesh, well, then they would sting it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Jake from GD Honey Acres here. You're probably seeing two new things you haven't seen in the apiary yet. But if you follow me on Facebook, you've seen it. Oh, we're, we're on Facebook too, GD Honey Acres at Craftwork LLC on Facebook. But here's these two new boxes. So, we are going to be today looking into Sophia Hive and pulling out at least a, a frame of brood for each of these nukes because these are only two frame nukes that, that were used as mating nukes, but now they're put into these five frames. So I want them to build up these five frames and get them strong and healthy. We've also got screws here because these lids were put on backwards so we can't screw them down. So when I get into them, I'm going to flip them around as well. We are trying something new today. I'm using my cell phone um, to take video right off the bat. I've got the GoPro here. So we're going to get footage um, looking through the Sophia Hive. If we see queen cells, I do plan on trying to split her into one of two open hives right now. Hopefully this wind isn't catching on the phone too terribly bad. This will be my first time recording with it. So I'm hoping we can get some frames of brood to put into these two, which will be the new rows of the Duna hives. Shall we get started? I think we should. Let's get it rocking. All right, so the very first thing we're gonna to need to do is we're gonna to need to remove a frame out of each of these colonies. So let's go ahead and get that taken care of. Well, let's look in. This will be our first time opening this. Ooh, it's a little stuck. Still a uh, fresh paint as of a couple days ago too. So we're gonna pull from one of these outside ones so we can scooch one of these over and put brood in there. So I will use my J-hook hive tool. To reach in here and pop that up. Maybe. There we go. Got it out of there. Because whatever we take out, we're going to replace with this frame. But shake them off. We'll set them over here on the Joan Hive. And then what I'll probably end up doing is we'll put the brood right here in this spot, the frame of brood. All right, let's put this lid back on. And we'll do the same with the other hive. So this is gonna be a Duna, and this will be Rose, the new Rose hive. A little smoke. There's a little wind right now. I don't recommend getting into beehives in the wind, but here's the problem. It's gonna be windier tomorrow, and I only have today and tomorrow to get into hives. So it's gotta happen today. It's the better day. There we go. Hello ladies. So do the same thing, we'll just take out this outer frame right here. Make sure the queen isn't on here. That'd be a bad day. Alright. Good tap on her. Knock these bees off. Just kind of curious. No, no queen on that. They're pulling a nectar already. I don't know if you guys can see the shininess, but they're pulling a nectar already, which is good. I have this one over on the side here on the edge. Let's get this lid back on. Now we gotta go get into the Sophia hive. Uh-oh, got a hole. So you know what I need to do? Get out one of my spare gloves put this on they don't sting through the nitrile because they don't sense that your flesh is there if they sensed your flesh well then they would sting it all right right away loads of bees right in here just give that a smoky smoke 
So what we're going to do for a check on this real fast is we're just going to break these two boxes apart and see if we have queen cells on the frames. Uh, uh, a tip, as soon as you crack that open, don't just lift it right away because you're already ready for something to happen. So let them calm down for a quick second and then lift it up. All right, let's see what we got here. Booga, booga. What do we got? So now we've got it up like that. I can look in these cells a little bit better without bending over so too terribly much. So I'm looking in these cells to see if there's anything in them. These are all queen cells, queen cups. If there's stuff in them, that means they're getting ready to go ahead and split off on their own. And I'm not seeing anything in these. That doesn't mean we don't have anything else that isn't capped yet. See the workers, you can see they're looking in there. They're seeing, hey, do we have any eggs in here? Do we need to start prepping for queens? They're not seeing anything yet. Not yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and just set this over here and we'll prop this box up next. We got it capped here. I don't see any capped here, nothing in them. This can be a good sign for us. We're gonna set this one back down, set the other one on top of it, and see if we can get a couple frames of brood for the nucleus colonies. Okay, let's look here. Lots of new brood there. Okay, if we find the queen, we might move her over to the other colony, the empty hive, make a new colony. Because you do that, it gets them thinking like, hey, we did swarm, we don't need to worry about swarming anymore. I'm checking these queen cells out on the bottom here for eggs. I, they're hard to see, but I'm not seeing any right now. Should have brought my marker out so I can mark this frame right here. So something to do also is always bring a marker out with you. I forgot my marker. It's in the shop. I totally forgot it. So that way you can mark frames that you find that have like queen cells or whatnot in them. All right, so I have found one frame to use here. Just gotta make sure there's no queen on it. It's mostly capped brood on the other side. So right now I'm just looking for a queen so I don't want to shake her. So if I saw her, I would capture her. Mainly because also if I saw her and I would capture her, I would be moving her to a different colony. I think we are good here. There's one queen cup on the bottom. No egg in it. Let's go and get rid of it. Okay. Looking again for the queen, looking again for the queen. She's usually fairly easy to spot because she just looks way different from all the rest. All right, we're gonna use this one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna shake it down here. Get as much of them off as possible. And we'll just add the frame in. So yeah, I'm gonna get all those, all that larva, all, all that cat brood. They have some newbies in there. So they should generally be accepted. Nurse bees are usually accepted in the colonies. So there we go. This one has a frame of brood now. We'll get her closed up. So interesting enough, I just got, my wife just got a call, Mr. Jake did, about a swarm that needs got, and I might be the only person available, so I'm going to be heading to town to capture a swarm of bees. I've got my other frame of brood in. Let's close everything up. Maybe we'll be able to get back into Sophia tomorrow. I'm not seeing any capped queen cells, so they're not ready to swarm on us yet. Let's close these up and then we'll close up Sophia. Grab a box. And go in and do our first swarm capture on somebody else's property. I'm kind of excited for that. All right, so I got what I needed to accomplish besides finding the Sophia queen and splitting her because I did find a couple queen cells with eggs in them. 
So we do have about another week until we really do need to start worrying about splitting that colony. Um, I did get a frame of brood and each new nuke, mostly cat brood. There's some eggs, some larva, but that's totally fine. I shook all the other bees off and put a frame in each nuke. So they are set and ready to go. The new Aduna and Rose colonies are on their way, set up to, for success right now. But Mrs. Jake came out while I was uh, going through the Sophia Hive and we got a call for a swarm to go rescue a swarm. So that's what we're gonna do now. Said a few videos ago, God willing, we'll get our apiary built back up. And uh, he must be willing because we're gonna get ready to expand even more. All right, so that's it for this video on setting those nukes up and uh, showing you guys what you gotta do to get your nukes strong if they're not built quite up yet and up to snuff. All right, I'll pray for you guys, pray for us. I hope you're doing well whenever you are, wherever you are. We'll catch y'all later. Bye.